person lately? Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> You should have had one side of now, should have let you go And I didn't know nothing, I was stupid, I was foolish I was lying to myself I could be back to myself, but it's not fun But it's not fun, but it's not fun But it's not fun, but it's not fun But it's not fun, but it's not fun Part of me is still so hard to believe. Come back, baby, please, cause we belong together. Who's what's in your face? Getting nobody better. Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. I can't sleep at night when you're on my mind. I'm the one who's on the radio. Sing to me. You think you're lonely now? brother who was getting a suit for my sister's wedding. And the row of all the suits, or a store full of suits, made me think of my father. Um, and instead of looking at them, I decided to write about them. And then the second part was written on the High Line, not too far away from here. And I was looking at the city, and um, I decided to write about it and not look at it. Um, it's called Pine Avenue. And it's the name of the street that I grew up on. And um, it's based on events that happened there as well as my life. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> on a broken street in a broken house, where six steps take you back in time, a wicker basket filled with decks and decks of cards tells stories of small children looking for dad in the casino. A jackass with a hole punch, feeling old and used, suffocated by a long-faced queen. A napkin-wrapped Danish keeps the children happy in their hotel room, watching music videos that will become choice at themed parties ten years down the road, that has a sharp bend on one side 
and a dead-end fence on the other that keeps in the red tricycle that became the red quad on which neighbor drove neighbor in circles and circles on a dirt path yard. Neighbor drove neighbor, neighbor drove neighbor out, neighbor drove neighbor crazy until neighbor drove over neighbor. On this broken street that is an avenue on one side and a street on the other, in that house of cards, a graduation gown hangs next to a hanging spider that falls fast in that attic where kids grow up as spiders grow down onto the blue buckets filled with summer stuff that is no longer of use in any season to her, but can be taken down the sharp bend at the end of the road and to your first right onto the, into the pile of clothes and shoes that she hopes find their, their way to other shoes that only dream of full blue buckets summer stuff, spring stuff, any stuff to, co to gather cobwebs that the spider spins till it reaches a pure white dress or bright red shorts, render rendering itself clothes and shoes worthy. Worthy of a roof with a view overlooking New York City that is a city on one side and a city on the other, with new streets and new buildings where six stories take you far in time far away from decks of cards or graduation gowns or blue buckets and awfully far away from neighbors. Thank you. Back in high school, I used to, I used to feel so boxed in that I even thought about hot boxing with the low lights at the corner. But I thought better of it, so I started boxing so I could deal with my frustrations and struggles. I started building some muscle enough to break out of my box. Um, the story of my life isn't pretty. I started from the bottom the same way I put on my socks. I used to be that sound little kid afraid of the spotlight. Now I'm here performing for Encounters tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because you have to take some risks. You never know what you might encounter. No funny thing. I'm the president for perfect. Now I know I made my mistakes, but with every step I take, I get closer to some sanity. Now, I won't disclose the mistakes that I made, but I came this close to the point of insanity. It started in high school when everyone was striving for popularity. You got a perception of beauty become distorted by movies and magazines. Now, if I don't start the conversation, then nobody will. I'm trying to change the world like Martin King, and I know those are some big shoes to fill, but somebody's got to try, right? <laughs> because even the biggest fail beats the hell out of not trying. When Biggie Smalls died, I wasn't crying. I was too young to understand his impact. But when J. Cole dies, I might shed a tear, too. Or three or four, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and if my tears hold value, then I'll shed a tear for everything he's ever showed me. And if I do that, then I'll be standing in the puddle. Now, I don't mean any trouble, but sometimes I yell, and that's because I'm so tired of being subtle. <laughs> now, just like everyone else in this room, I have my struggles, but I don't reveal them so quickly because wearing them could be a little tricky. But I guess I'll start by saying my name. My name is Sammy, and I'm from the Bronx, New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be honest. This pain that I feel from not having you here is constant. They say, don't try until it's gone, but you was not even had. I just know that I'd be gone. I was wrong, now you're gone. Now I, don't, now I don't know what else to do except put my heart around this song. I would use that one day you'd move on, but in the back of my mind, I always thought this love would be like wrong. <laughs> Aside from my new part differences, there's something I want to say. I just don't know what's the best way because the things I'm saying are the hardest to say. You see, I have a lot of pain. I haven't dealt with it all. Sometimes I want, I get, it gets so overwhelming that I want to just really fall. You and tell you how much that I miss you, but it's best not to because even though in my heart I think we can work this out once again, my mind knows that's not true. I'm slowly accepting the fact that one day we become strangers and my, and my emotions are slowly overflowing from my heart and put it onto this paper. And this is in fact the case, and I hope that you're living a happy life. I hope you're doing well in school, and I hope all your dreams come true. I hope you're able to travel the world and make one person smile in every country, fall in love, have some kids, and be able to live comfortably. If I could turn back the hands of times and fix my mistakes, I would. And if I, could if I could go back in time to when things were penis were all good. But no, no matter what, I'll always be here for you. It doesn't matter for what, I'll even take a bullet for you. You was my best friend, my everything, and my other half too. The hardest thing to say is what I'm not saying, but the best way to say it is to just say, I love you, still, and I always will.
great poetry from Sammy, thank you. Um, next up is uh, some more poetry from one of our very own editors, Inga. Hi guys. So this poem is called Math Class Ravings, and it's about a situation that we've all been in. I won't complain. College is a privilege, right? Well, I also won't say that I have nothing to complain about. After all, a tired mind can't conceive new thoughts. Has anybody said that before? Eh, nobody comes to mind. <sighs> 20 more minutes. The teacher's talking, but who really listens? We're too caught up in our own thoughts to care about somebody with a diploma explaining derivatives. 17 more minutes, and it's only noon. 15 more minutes. Tick tock. Tuesday. 13 more. A cigarette and a half eaten bagel to help get through the day. I really ought to quit. 11 minutes left. Wait, have I listened to a word that the teacher has said? Nope. Don't think I have. 8 more minutes. But why would I want to solve matrices, sir? 1 minute left. Class dismissed. <laughs> 